29 year old woman just moments away from being rescued by a firefighter perished in the flames of that fire this morning. Nine News reporter Brian Yacono is live at the scene. It is in North College Hill. He has the latest on this. Brian. Hi, good afternoon to you, Tanya. When crews arrived here, they say they found a woman trapped in a second floor window way screaming for help. They say the flames had already gone through the first floor. And as a firefighter extended a ladder to help her, they say there was a flashover, which when all the heat and the flames and the smoke came up from the first floor into the second floor, they say that is what the killed the woman in the window. It also burned the firefighter trying to save her life. Now we're told there were four people who lived in this apartment, including two children and their mother. Our cameras were here as they were carried and wheeled away on that stretcher. Now their escape was either by jumping out the window or running out the back door. I spoke with neighbors this morning who say they woke up to the sound of water from the fire hoses being sprayed on their windows. They scrambled to get out as well. Right now the apartment is boarded up. The woman who lives right next door, however, says firefighters told her this is a prime reason why to have renter's insurance. But in the end, she says it was the firewall that saved her life. It taught me a lesson today. I'm getting renter's insurance because if it wouldn't have been for that firewall, I wouldn't have nothing. My kids wouldn't have nothing. My aunt just experienced this a couple months ago in Mount Healthy, and thank God they had renter's insurance. Now, the name of that 21 year old, 29 year old rather, who died in this fire has not yet been released. Neighbors tell us that she had a disability and could not walk. The, I also tell us the family had only lived here a few months. Right now, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Brian Econo, 9 News, live in North College Hill. What a sad situation. Thank you, Brian.